I'm Destiny, and this is my M9. For my last video, I took out my P238 to the range and did this one-handed bullseye challenge. Did the same thing with my M9. But instead of thinking about the math aspect of what goes into shooting, I was thinking more about the physiology, the anatomy that impacts or can impact your shooting. Here's your warning. I'm gonna look at some science for this video. If that's totally boring, you don't wanna watch it, go ahead. Just skip to the end of the video. I'll have some shooting clips with the M9. For those of you who want to stick around though, this is Physiology and Guns with Professor Dess. Now, my disclaimer is, I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, a teacher, or a professional target shooter. I'm just a student. But as a student, I wanna share some of the things that I've learned from my teachers with you guys. I've drawn out here some of the muscle groups that will come into play when with firing a pistol, but not all of them, just a few. This is the trapezius, and this is the latissimus dorsi, and this is the deltoid. Those three work together to help stabilize the body, to hold the arm out away from the body. And this, a little one in the front, is the pectoralis major. The pectoralis major works with the abdominals to oppose what the back muscles were doing. And this, the triceps brachii. The triceps brachii works in conjunction with the biceps brachii. Here. The biceps and triceps work together to kind of stabilize your arm, help you get that steady shot. Lastly, in this diagram, we have the extensor digitorum. These muscles work in conjunctions with the flexors on the other side of the forearm to control your fingers and how you're actually holding the firearm. Now, some might think that when a muscle contracts, it just all contracts, but that's tetanus and that's bad. What really happens is it's more like an orchestra of lots of different fibers working together. Some are contracting and some are relaxing at the same time. And the nervous system is sending these signals to try and fine tune which ones are contracting and which ones are relaxing, even within one muscle. And then you have opposing muscles like your triceps and biceps working all together to try and keep that wobble steady. There's actually a lot going on, even down to the cellular level. And that's kind of what I have going on when I'm trying to manage that wobble. And I have the M9 this time, but you can see how well I did. Okay, let's see how that went.
progress. There's hope for me yet. <laughs>